Hello and welcome to another episode of Savage in the Wild. I'm in Oglala, Nebraska to check out a really cool company who works with one of my all-time favorite plants, milkweed. <laughs> I'm uh, Herb Knutson, and I am president of Ogallala Comfort Company and Natural Fibers Corporation and Ogallala Body. Mm -hmm. we are, we're really excited about the uh, potential uh, for this uh, crop. Mm -hmm. I like uh, all aspects uh, of it. Probably the thing that intrigues me the most is the unlimited uh, opportunities as uh, we uh, start with uh, low, low volume, high value products like down comforters. Mm -hmm. uh, it can, uh, it has a potential to go to be a major uh, fiber in the United States economy. Mm -hmm. um, maybe having several million acres under uh, cultivation mm -hmm. uh, because it provides uh, a very unique fiber in the floss. It has stem fiber mm -hmm. and it also has uh, seed oil and, and I think uh, uh, ultimately could be a, a nutraceutical type of a product uh, mm -hmm. for people uh, to um, uh, give them additional uh, nutrients, uh, especially uh, antioxidants mm -hmm. uh, in that and uh, some of the very unique uh, omega-7 fatty acids. Mm -hmm. Right now we uh, do uh, two major uh, products. We take the uh, fluff, which we call uh, Syriaca clusters, and blend that with down to make uh, a very superior uh, in terms of comfort and performance mm -hmm. uh, comforters and uh, pillows and down products. Mm -hmm. And we also uh, take the seed and press that into oil and uh, use the uh, oil in our uh, body care products. Uh, we uh, dump the dry pods in the front end of the machine and if you want to see the, what those dry pods look like, we can yeah. go up this stairway. I don't know how well you do oh, on yeah. the line. Oh yeah, there they are. But uh, but they're they're the dry pods, and as mm -hmm. they dry, then they break open. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, run our processing machine, at, which is an old 1942 John Deere combine that we modify right. and uh, it gives you three streams one is the very white uh, fluffy material mm -hmm. and then you get a seed mm -hmm. and then uh, biomass mm -hmm. and right now we have a research uh, um, activity with the uh, University of Nebraska uh, is doing research on the biomass mm -hmm. to find what kind of uh, mm -hmm. uh, nutraceutical type of a products mm -hmm. or nu mm -hmm. nutritional uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, nutritional supplements that we could get out of that material. And that's what this is what those the Syriaca clusters out of this bag look like or the bags that we do in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Syriaca cluster itself mm -hmm. is uh, hydrophobic fiber mm -hmm. and that's because the fiber on the outside is coated with about three percent wax mm -hmm. and uh, and that's what makes it uh, hydrophobic uh, but it can be treated uh, with uh, soap or surfactant mm -hmm. and uh, made to absorb water mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So these are the seeds that get right. that come out of the machine. Right. And then they get, uh, fil they get they filtered get or sifted through. Right, through this machine mm -hmm. so that we have have uh, clean seed. Mm -hmm. And I can, we can show you what that's like. That'd be cool. All right. <laughs> and this is... This is what the, the seed, that's the clean mm -hmm. seed, mm -hmm. and that's what we sell. I mean, we sell it to uh, butterfly farms, mm -hmm. a lot of butterfly farms mm -hmm. throughout the country, mm -hmm. other larger seed companies that don't want to do mm -hmm. their own, uh, own mm -hmm. milkweed. Mm -hmm. We feed in the seed, and we, uh, for every... 10 pounds of seed that we put in, mm -hmm. we get about one pound of oil. We do just uh, the natural virgin pressed oil. Mm -hmm. That's what we do in our products. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most stable oils. So here we have the raw Syriaca oil, which is dark in color and has a kind of a grassy smell. And here we have the deodorized right. Syriaca oil. 
which gets used in the final product. Right. Cool. How do you see um, Asclepius syriaca being used in the future? In uh, higher volume uh, applications, mm -hmm. uh, we're one of the uh, tests that we've done a lot of work on is uh, non-woven products and in those non-woven products it's performed extremely well. Uh, ultimately uh, we see it as a very uh, strong uh, fiber in in the uh, paper industry and even possibly the the uh, clothing clothing industry as well. Mm -hmm. Volumes are very low at this point and so we need to uh, build a volume and uh, are doing that by starting with low volume, high value uh, products like down comforters and then uh, going to the next uh, step and making sure that we use all of the byproducts associated with the plant. This year we've got major collections going on in Wyoming mm -hmm. and in New York, upstate New York of all places. Oh wow. And uh, so we're excited about that uh, because uh, finding uh, we've been just relying on the Wyoming side and mm -hmm. and you go like well what happens if they uh, right, have know, a bad year <laughs> have a bad year or something like that and uh -huh. so we have just found and qualified a, a, a firm or a group of people up there so if someone was interested in harvesting um, milkweed uh, pods for you could they just contact you directly sure we would mm -hmm. we would love to mm -hmm. have them uh, do that uh, what we do is we supply uh, onion bags for them to be filled mm -hmm. and, uh, and then uh, we uh, pay 50 cents per pound uh, wet weight mm -hmm. of the uh, pods that are collected and then we pay the transportation uh, here to Ogallala. Thanks so much to Herb and all the folks over at Oglala Comfort Company. It was really neat to see firsthand the different ways that they're using this plant. Asclepius syriaca, common milkweed. Asclepius comes from the Greek god of healing, Asclepios, and syriaca means of Syria, which is kind of interesting because you cannot find this plant in Syria. It was misnamed. I've been to Syria. I haven't ever seen it there. So um, anyways, it's just really, really an abundant plant and it, it gets my creative juices flowing to think of all the different ways you can use it. Now as far as the edibility, you can eat the young shoots when they're oh about yay high, cooking them in two changes of water. Then when the flower buds start to form near the top of the plant, they kind of look like a tight broccoli floret. You can again, like other parts of the milkweed, harvest those and cook them in two changes of water and dumping out that cooking water. And then the uh, final part here are these seed pods. Now when you get them about this size or even a little bit smaller, they uh, are a delicious gourmet wild food. You can eat the outside pod and then as well the interior silk. Now that silk is really an interesting, interesting food that almost melts a little bit like cheese. So. Anywho, it's really a cool plant and I'm happy to share it with you and I'm glad other folks like Herb are out there doing the same. As they say in Syria, Masalama.